What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing great today. Here in Indiana, we're getting real close to the start of the deer season. There's already some states that's in full swing and got a lot of people asking questions on what camo, a lot of questions on my Sitka uh, layering system, how I utilize different garments, different pieces of clothing. Figured I'd just kind of go through the closet here behind me, uh, dig out all my pieces. Gonna give you guys kind of a quick rundown on what I use for early season mid-season and then what I would call late season here in Indiana. Uh, to start out, I'm 5'10", 5'11", uh, about 220 pounds, and the majority of my stuff is large in size. Um, I could probably bump up to an extra large, but one of the main reasons that I like Sitka is because of the athletic fit or a little bit tighter, more snug fit. Um, I'm a big bow hunter, so I don't want any loose baggy clothing, you know, draping off my arms when I'm going to full draw, uh, just stuff getting in my way when I'm going into the stand, getting out of the stand, and then moving around while I'm in the tree stands. And I do like the fact that it is pretty snug, pretty tight fit, and just an all around athletic fitting type camo. But I'll make sure and link everything down below to what I use. So the first thing here is just the Sika t-shirt. Uh, you can see it's a real thin type of material and it does have the polygene in it so it wipes out the odors really well. That's another nice thing about the Sitka system is you don't have to wash this stuff near as often as you would some cheaper type camo. So it's gonna keep those natural colors a lot better and then it's not gonna break down the fibers running it through the washing machine. I make sure and air dry all this stuff, uh, but I do occasionally wash it, but I don't wash it near as much as I do the cheaper camo that I had previously. First thing, we'll start out with early season whitetail. Uh, this would be on really warm days, really hot days. It's still September here in Indiana. So, you know, you might go out in a t-shirt or if you want to do any more than that, you would use something like this. This is just the long sleeve, same material as the t-shirt, uh, just very thin material with the polygene. Super quiet stuff, very thin. What I might do once I get to the tree stand is just take this with me, throw this on after I've been in the stand for an hour or two on those cooler evenings, and then that way your arms are fully camo. So we got the long sleeve tee there. And then I would always wear this hat as well. Very nice form fitting hat. Uh, it is a Velcro in the back. And then this piece here is just a little bit older, but this is I believe this is what they call the traverse top. There's no zipper or anything for the front, but there is a chest pocket here for a cell phone or a range finder, whatever you want to throw in there. But this one is just a little bit thicker than what the T would be. So you can see it's a little bit more of a dense. I don't know if you can see there, but it's a little bit thicker. Just a real quiet, kind of a mesh type top. It's a little bit thicker for those cooler evenings. Uh, still pretty warm outside, but need something when it starts getting a little bit closer to dark or those brisk early mornings. Everybody's gonna be a little bit different as far as how quickly they get cold or how warm they stay. So you have to take this for a grain of salt, but I would say I would probably wear this long sleeve tee in conditions probably 65 plus and then break out this traverse top whenever you're probably in the, I'd say 55 to 65 degree range. Or my favorite piece out of all the Sitka garments is the Fanatic hoodie. And I'll show you here, throw this on. This is my most used piece. I uh, use this for deer hunting, for turkey hunting, for coyote hunting such a versatile piece. I'm going to start sweating here in the basement so try to hurry through this a little bit. So this piece is just got a little bit of everything. You can see again it's got that good athletic fit. Once again this is a large. <clears throat> so on this one you're going to have a kind of a quarter or a half zipper on the front. You've got that rangefinder pocket again right here. Kind of a small pocket, so be a little bit tough to fit a good size rangefinder in there. But throw whatever you want in there. Then you got uh, just like a hooded sweatshirt. You got a full pocket here in the front. 
goes all the way through. Put your hands in whenever you're up in the tree stand. And then the nice thing about this, walking to the stand or you get up in the stand, pull your face mask down, put your hat on. The face mask is fully built into the system. You can see there, just got everything you need. Got a good tight fitting hood on it. And then you got your face mask built in. And then this zips up all around you. I'll show you another thing here. It's got these thumb holes on it. And then you take this and it's got a built in mitten. Put that over the top when you're just hanging out in the tree stand. If you're not wearing gloves, pretty handy. Just everything built into it so you don't have to pack anything extra if you don't choose to, as far as face mask, hood, and gloves go. Sick of Fanatic hoodie. Even for early season, I do try to wear their base layers. This one here is a polyester base layer. Uh, it has the polygene in it. That's one of the main reasons why I try to wear those. When it's extremely warm, I'm thinking probably 70 degrees plus, I will not wear the base layer, just a little bit too hot and I'll just go straight to the early season whitetail pant, or I think this was actually a couple years back called the Equinox pant maybe. Anyway, I'll link it down below, but I'm not gonna try these on just because it's gonna get pretty warm here in the basement. Once again, a real nice material on these, it does come with a built-in belt, and then the pants, the pockets, are just very well thought out. Big, nice pocket here on each side. And then on the outside of the pocket is a nice zipper as well. So you just got plenty of room for storage on these things. Of course, you got you know both pockets on the front. I keep throwing out temperatures here, but I'll probably wear these with a light base layer all the way down to maybe 50 degrees, somewhere around there. I keep throwing out these temperatures, but everybody's gonna be different, and then plus once you add in wind, that's gonna change things a great deal as well. So I would still consider this early season. That kind of takes care of that. Uh, if it gets too cold, I will throw in the heavyweight base layer. I don't know all the correct terminology for all this, but it has this square pattern on the inside, it's, but it's called their Merino Heavyweight Base Layer. Just a little bit thicker than what this lightweight is. But both of them have the polygene, helps trap in the odors, and you don't have to wash it near as often. That would take care of early season. Just to kind of recap it, uh, probably top everything off with a Fanatic hoodie or this Traverse top layer here along with the early season whitetail pants or the equinox pants and then some sort of base layer whatever fits you best now we'll move forward on to mid season this would probably be kind of right around maybe mid to late october and then we start getting into stratus that's what i wear for my mid season and that would be the stratus jacket for the top I would still have my Fanatic hoodie on underneath. Now this piece here is, I believe, the only extra large piece that I have. The reason I did that is because kind of in that mid-season, and I probably wear this a little bit into late season, uh, just wanted the versatility to be able to kind of stack up and layer pretty heavily underneath this. Sometimes I don't want to break out the Fanatic or my late season stuff, so I'll put on some extra mid layers. And then that way, once I get to the tree stand, I can put this on over the top of my base layers, keep some extra stuff in my bag, and then kind of add on pieces as the hunt goes on. And this piece here does have the harness pass through. I can grab it right here. So you can pass your harness through on the back. here you can see that that's where you pass your harness through and I don't really like wearing a hood while I bow hunt or hunt in general 
So I took the hood off of this, but it does zip and then button right here. So it does come with a hood. And then in mid season as well, kind of getting in a little bit further into mid season, approaching that late season. I wear this bad boy quite a bit too, just because it's so versatile. This here is in large, and this is the Fanatic Vest. Got your harness pass through on the back. You could wear this on top of your Stratus, or you could wear this underneath. get this thing on. There we go. And just like all the other Fanatic pieces, has a diagonal zipper. And you can zip this all the way up if you like. I'm not going to do that because I'm really hot. But you have a big pass-through hand muff down here. And then on the front side of the Fanatic, you have a kangaroo pouch and then a couple different pockets inside there to put various items some hand warmers cell phone and then over here you have your rangefinder pouch just drop it right in there and that's the fanatic vest and I'm gonna get this thing off because it is hot like I say that's just one more piece to the arsenal, put that under the Stratus, you can put this just over the top of the uh, Fanatic hoodie here, just gives you a lot of different options, pack some pieces in with you, take them out of your backpack the cooler you get as the hunt goes on, and then for the bottom portion, still in mid-season to approaching that late season mark, are the Stratus pants with the Gore Windstopper. I uh, forgot to mention, but the Stratus top does have the Gore Windstopper as well, the Stratus jacket. Uh, they do make a Stratus bib now, which I thought about purchasing, but I'm very happy with the setup that I have. Uh, once again, not going to put these on, but it has the built-in belt. Nice solid belt buckle. All plastic, but quiet. Very sturdy. And then you've got the same pockets on the outside as the early season pants, main pockets with your zippers. One other thing I want to show you up close, the Stratus as well as the early season have these nice reinforced little areas here. Whenever you're carrying a pocket knife or your multi-tool, whatever it might be, you know, it's just a little bit extra for that to grab a hold of and it doesn't break down the fabric near as quickly. Kind of reinforced there and that is on both sides focus there you go stratus pants and below that i would always wear either the light base layer or your merino heavyweight base layer Now we are getting into late season. So we're talking uh, November, probably mid-November, all the way through January. Um, and that would be on the bottom. Definitely go with my incinerator bibs. Absolutely love these things. More often than not, I'm gonna walk in with these on and a light to heavy merino base layer. And then on top, I'm just going to have a merino wool base layer on with the Fanatic hoodie on top and just my bibs with the legs on the sides pretty much unbuttoned all the way up so I can get some air flowing through there while I'm walking into the stand. If I don't undo these and let some air come in, then I will... Just walk into the stand in my base layers and have these rolled up on my backpack if I have a long walk in because these things 
are so super warm, it's incredible. So I see a lot of people questioning how loud these might be. And I've never once thought that these might scare a deer off after purchasing these. I had the same hesitation at first, but I knew these were gonna be warmer than the Fanatics. And I'm super happy that I went this direction, mainly because of the extra warmth and then the material that does not allow as many burrs to get caught on these. Where I'm located and where I hunt, we have a lot of burrs around and it's a nightmare picking that stuff out of the Fanatic. So I'm very happy with going with the incinerator. They have up top hand warming pockets right here. They have zippers on the inside for extra storage. Trying to make sure you guys can see all this. Hand warmers on each side. You've got your typical hip pockets with zippers as well. Keep things secured. Moving down uh, to kind of your thigh, you have the normal outside large pocket with buttons. And then you've got a grunt. I don't know if you can see there, but you've got a grunt tube pocket. So you can slide a grunt tube right down in there. And then like all of Sitka's pants, you have the additional outside pocket. And then it has the full length leg zippers to allow some air to move in while you're walking. These things are incredible, super warm, and not as loud as some people think. So that's going on the bottom with either the light base layer or the heavyweight base layer. One thing I forgot to mention, uh, I do not have any sick uh, upper merino base layers, but I just always wear something like this. This is kind of like sick, it helps control the odor as well. The merino wool is just super warm and it helps wick away some of the sweat. So mid to late season, I'm always wearing some sort of base layer on top and base layer on bottom for extra warmth, wicking away the sweat. That way you're not sweating on the way to the stand and then you start freezing once you're in the stand. All right, we got the bottoms figured out. We're wearing the incinerator on the bottoms and then the top. I'm going with the Fanatic jacket. And I know a lot of people go, you know, incinerator top and bottoms or for Fanatic top and bottoms, but I'm super happy with this direction that I went. Um, mainly because, yeah, I don't think the incinerator bottoms are extremely loud, but I'm gonna be moving the majority if I'm moving at all with my upper body. So I chose to go with a Fanatic jacket on top. Once again, just crazy, super warm. It's got that full size hand pocket. You got a zipper here with a kangaroo pouch. Put some hand warmers in there, put a cell phone in there, whatever you need. With this big pocket here, you don't even need a hand muff because this is essentially a built-in hand muff here. So on the front, Got a big pocket here to put whatever you need to in there. Uh, get creative, put all kinds of things in there. This here is your grunt tube pocket. If we can see that, focus. Grunt tube can slide right in there. And then over here on the side, you've got your rangefinder pocket. This has a magnetic kind of a hasp just kind of magnetizes to the other side of it so you can throw it in there and it stays in there securely. This zips up all the way across. And you know, typically I would have my face mask on, my hood from my Fanatic hoodie. Not gonna do that because I'm burning up down here. Let me get this thing off. So this would be all the way through late season. And center inner bottoms. Fanatic jacket up top with whatever base layers you need. Don't need a whole lot of base layers with this. Def definitely don't walk into your stand with this on unless you got a short walk. I try to walk in uh, with as little as I can up top. Typically, sometimes I'll just walk in with the Merino base layer or the Fanatic hoodie. Throw the jacket on whenever I get to the stand. 
and then getting into some gloves and some headgear we've got the cap for pretty much year round whenever you want to wear the cap um, we got I love this Stratus beanie this thing is awesome really nice material on the inside just like all the Stratus it has the gore wind stopper and it has the poly jean right there this is the gore wind stopper this thing I've got a pretty big noggin this thing fits extremely well if you can see that nice and snug got that still sweating and then super late season got the sick I think this is called the GTX hat something like that it's got the Gore-Tex focus got the Gore-Tex so you're gonna be rainproof um, it's got the fanatic material on the inside and then you've got the ear flaps this is a pretty awesome hat here when you're sitting in the stand all day long man this thing is so handy pull those flaps down Elmer Fudd style this thing is awesome get all warm up there fall asleep miss all the big bucks walking by <laughs> just kidding but this thing is a lifesaver Throw that on with and with all the well thought out designs of the pockets on the Fanatic and being warm enough with the Stratus, I don't wear any more than the Fanatic gloves because of the cutouts on the fingers. Focus. There you go see there that's the fanatic glove and my last piece is the Sitka neck gaiter it's got the fanatic material on the inside super soft throw this bad boy on and pull this thing up over your face Got all your other stuff on, you can put this on with it. So warm. And like I say, this is just how I set up. I know I threw out some temperatures, but it's gonna be a little bit different for everybody. But the layering systems just give you so many different options to customize to whatever the conditions are outside pack in light and then add more once you get to the stand and it's just very well thought out and to me it's worth the price. I use the Sika tool bucket. Uh, I do self film so I carry all my camera gear in here and just everything else that I might need. Uh, it's got the loop here so you just get to the stand. Got all these pockets up here that would be visible and then you've got the bucket portion which would be hanging right next to you. Got pockets, three or four different pockets on the inside. You can put binoculars down here, whatever you need to in there. Kind of hard to show you all the pockets on that. But I did a full review on this of how I use my lone wolf stand and my hop climbing steps, how I utilize this to pack in and carry my stand on my back utilizing the Sika tool bucket. And I'll put that at the end of the video so you guys can click on that and take a look. And that takes care of all of my Sika gear that I use. Like I say, I compiled this over about three years. There's no way I could afford to buy that all at once. Some of it I was given to, you know, as birthday gift, Christmas gift, things like that. So take your time, buy a couple pieces here and there, see if you like it. Let me know if you have any questions. Make sure and take a look at the description down below. I'm gonna throw all this stuff down there so you can Click on it, take you right to the item. Please subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be a lot of good footage coming out. Looking to continue to grow this channel here for you guys and always willing to answer any questions that you might have. Make sure and comment down below if you guys have any questions on any of the stuff that I went over today. Happy hunting, be safe. See you guys, bye.